Hello everyone, this is Bayonetta, Infinite Climax Difficulty, Pure Platinum, No Damage. And, uh, this is chapter uh, 6. And, uh, we're going to have this flame, guys, and for some reason... I don't know why you fight this flame, guys, on Infinite Climax. Because the only way to damage these guys, well, it's by doing what I'm doing right now, by... No, enemy stepping and using the whip but uh, you can't you know the other way is to dodge them and use witch time and you know deal with them that way but for some reason that doesn't you know that doesn't work on the infinite climax you know it's not for some reason it just doesn't work in this difficulty but for some reason they just they put these enemies in this difficulty and I don't get why but if you use the whip and the enemy step, you're going to be fine. Don't, uh, don't ju just don't be too close to them because if you're too close to them, you'll get damaged. That's the only problem. And now you have this this versus versus two of these guys, and uh, I really love these these enemies. They are very fast to kill, and uh, they are kind of dumb, so it's an it's an easy fight. It's always good when it goes well. Sometimes it doesn't go well because their stance is not the way that I want. But when the, when this happens and everything goes well, it's just amazing. Yeah, this is the stance that sh that you should aim for. When they are above, when their head is above, you, it's just trickier to do this. But yeah, it's a simple fight. You don't really need to do a lot of things. Just stay in the air, enemy step. And that's it. And you'll watch this, uh, you know, infinite, uh, well, infinite, this climax cutscene. Which I think uh, for the ones that you already watched, you should be able to skip them, but I don't think you are able to skip them. Yeah, I tried to skip there, but it didn't work. And this chapter is actually quite easy. And e e this chapter has the easiest Alfheim too. The Alfheim in normal difficulty in this chapter is actually harder than the than in the Infinite Climax. I find that quite funny. The Infinite Climax uh, Alfheim for this just it's a joke. And I'm glad it was a joke for this chapter. So this chapter was just it was so good to have something easier just for a change uh, but uh, I'm currently on uh, chapter 8 and that's the root 666 and I wonder if I'm going to have troubles with it I don't think I, I am because you know there's the, uh, the majority of that chapter is you in a motorcycle isn't it so I guess that's going to be another easy chapter. I guess. No, well, I'm not sure. I, I might uh, regret saying this. But yeah, this is the Alpha Man. This one is so easy. You have to do one torture attack on this enemy. I mean, there's two enemies, but and this type of enemy. I know this is a harder version of the electrical enemy, but uh, an infinite climax. It, there's no difference between the electrical enemy and this enemy. The only in in the normal difficulties, this enemy, you cannot witch time it quite easily. You need to perfect parry him, and then you go into witch time. In this difficulty, you you cannot witch time him anyway. So he's just like the electrical guy in this difficulty, and that's why this is so easy. I had no problems with this whatsoever. I did it in the first attempt, and I'm 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 thankful for that because alphams are always a pain. So I'm glad that this alpha was uh, was something you know, a breath of fresh air. So I will do the same thing as I do with the electrical guys. I'll just enemy step them for big damage, and then use the whip for. You know, trying to uh, trying to get some damage from them if they don't block. 
the, the only difference between these enemies and the normal ones are, I mean, is that uh, they block more. But yeah, we have this verse, and this verse is exactly the same as uh, the Halfheim. This, but uh, it's a little bit you know, harder than the Alfheim because you need to, you don't need to do a torch attack. Oh wait, well, it's the same. You still need to kill the both enemies in the Alfheim. So. The only tricky thing is the environment. The environment is quite uh, restricted. There's a ceiling, so you can't be in the air a lot. And the enemy step is kind of tricky because of that. But uh, if you're um, if if you're already experienced with this type of enemy, uh, everything's fine. I mean, they they take more damage than the other ones, but they they are not different. They're just electrical enemy in this difficulty with a different color. So it's uh, it's fine. And then you do torch attack and jump on him. Try to do as much as damage. And I will end him. And that's it. Uh, it's so easy. This I'm just too used to these enemies. I have no difficulty anymore. And then uh, this verse is still not over. There's this. This one. Just try to get as much combo points as you can. Because you'll need it. I think. I mean I don't know how strict it is. But I would... Yes, it would be quite straight. So I always try to have a lot of combo points. The funny thing is that um, in this chapter I never saved. This one, this was one of those chapters that I never back up myself because I already knew this chapter wasn't going to be that bad, and I was quite confident that this was going to be a good chapter and here it is this fight is actually very good this is one of my favorite fights of the game because they throw you a lot of these enemies they throw you a lot of the weak enemies so you can build combo on them and stuff like that a lot and it's fun I'm going to have a high number of combo I don't think I'm going to drop it and if I drop it well that's a shame yeah, this verse is, uh, if you're of difficulty with this uh, infinite climax difficulty, then it's probably going to be a little bit tricky since you can't twitch time, but if you use the kill guard to enemy step and the whip and maintain your distance in the air, it's going to be fine. And that's uh, one thing I'm kind of, I'm noticing with this game. It seems that a lot of the enemies in this game are not designed to get you in the air. I mean, these guys can fly, like now, but they don't really do that when they are already on the floor. They don't. I don't see a lot of enemies trying to fly to, to you know, make to punish you. It seems that this game is v very restricted to the floor, from what I know. I mean, I noticed that more in the joys. The joys have that problem. They really don't attack you in the air whatsoever, and they don't have aerial attacks, I mean, the only aerial attacks that they have are, you know, the guns and the, the sword. But outside of that, it's, the enemies stay, stay so passive when you are in the air, and that's a very good way to do this. So yeah, take advantage of that, because you'll need it. I have no idea how it is to do this difficulty, no damage on the floor. And I have to watch more people doing this run. There's a couple runs I'm interested in to watch, but I still haven't watched to, you know, not get spoiled, I guess. So I'm just, I'm just uh, keeping. I mean, I mean, I can watch the chapters that I already did. I think I'm going to do that. But yeah, this is a verse. You cannot attack the enemies directly. You need to throw shit at them. So. Just throw the these boxes to this one. And try to uh, break these doors as fast as you can because when they rushes towards you, he can damage you and he can damage the the girl. So be <coughs> be careful. 
it's not a hard verse and I don't think there's high requirement for combos. I think the combos for this one is fine. Um, throw more. Just try to make him slow down a lot. At the moment it seems that I'm not building combo on him. But I still had a pure platinum. I think the, anim the enemies that we thought fought before were enough. That's it. Now we're going to this verse. And this verse is fine. I mean, it's just these two enemies. I'm already used to fighting them. It's nothing that hard, even though this enemy, compared to the electrical and fire enemies, these ones, they actually are a little bit more tricky to me for, to fight them because they block a lot. And there's not a, a lot of ways to counter them in the air because they instantly, you know, counter your aerial stuff. So be careful with these ones. These ones actually are a little bit harder. And I'm, as you can see, I'm risking it. I'm going to the air and that's not a good idea. But if you are used to their timing when they counter you in the air, yeah, maybe you can do it without taking much risk. But I wouldn't recommend. It would be... It's quite tricky because they are very fast. That, that bite that they do when you are in the air, it's very fast. And for this part is done now. The next... This verse is still not over. You have this one. And this fight is a little bit different from the other ones that you do with this enemy. Now he can summon these fireballs. And he can summon it during the fight. And the fireballs damage him too. Which is a very nice touch. So I won't be using the pillow talk like I did in the last times. I'm going to fight this guy for real for this one. I'm trying to test it. As uh, so you can see, I'm quite. Uh, I'm trying to do the enemy step, but the hitbox for this enemy is a little bit more strict and more tri tricky to do. But I will try. I'll try my best to do it. And this was my first attempt, so it's not that great. It's a little bit messy, but you know, I was quite afraid to that the checkpoint re would restart me at the beginning of the verse, so I didn't risk it a lot. So I'm playing very safe and doing the enemy step and stuff like that. But once I was in the air like this, I was I started to get some confidence. But then I remembered that uh, this enemy can grab you if you are in his, in, if you are glued to his back. And will, when he summons the fireballs, just use the panther within and maybe try to m make that the fireballs uh, hit him. And you can climax him and that's it. And this is the the next verse is the last verse. There's only 10 verses for this one. Simple chapter. This was one of the easiest chapters in the game so far. Okay, maybe the chapter 1 is the easiest. But I don't like the torture attack thing uh, in chapter 1. But right but if I maybe if I redid that chapter it would be way better. Because I've learned a lot. So yeah. This is uh, the last verse. The joy. And uh, I like to fight the joy when she's in the bay of form. It's quite... It's kind of cool. It reminds me of DMC3. When uh, you fight the doppelganger. And in, in that cutscene is like Dante. And he imitates Dante. It's, and it's cool. I like that. So, but then she will transform into the joy, and that will be the introduction of the joy. And, um, if you if your joy doesn't split and uh, makes another joy, then you won't have any troubles. Um, well, to me it's quite unfortunate because I'm I'm starting to like fighting joys, and she didn't split, so I didn't have more joys to fight. And it, you know, kind of kind of threw me off. This verse 9, this last verse, 
I said 10 verses, but it's just, you know, it's just 9 verses. That's it. Our well, pure platinum. No item, no damage. And uh, got the award. This chapter is easy. The next chapter is going to be a little bit trickier because of the boss. I, I don't really like that boss, but that's going to be it. So yeah, um, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.